I know I'm gonna keep you 100. So get for free the life I need. If you've been following my journey, you know that I work with Year of Return. And you're aware that occasionally we do airport welcomes for people who have arrived in Ghana, sometimes for the very first time, and sometimes it's not their first time, but they want to experience the culture. On this particular occasion, a group called Komengasu from the Netherlands, who are actually a group of people from Suriname, who live in the Netherlands, arrived in Ghana, excited to experience the history, the culture, and the heritage of the country. They were in town to experience the upcoming Kumasi Carnival, and they enjoyed every moment dancing with the cultural troupe. The landing was wonderful, but very uh, inspirational and very surprising uh, with the drums and the dancing ladies, ladies to welcome me and to guide them also during the dance was really uh, amazing because <laughs> they pull out, uh, they pull me out of my comfort zone because there are a lot of people I was thinking, oh, almost so many people, but still they get me so far to dance and that is nice but, yeah so you're here for the Kweku festival for I'm the from the I'm for the Kumasi festival Kumasi festival yeah. Kumasi carnival Kum Kumasi carnival yeah. what is going to be your role are you going to be doing any performing um, we're going to be uh, I'm go we are like a working group and we are going to uh, guide coach help the organization because we are uh, under Dr. Bigman we are, go, uh, we are to welcome the people from Europe, but also to help, to guide, to register, but also maybe to help if something happens, everything you can do. And I myself, I'm very uh, interested in why the African diaspora come to an, uh, uh, Ghana and, uh, and uh, what did they need to make this trip. So I made an enquête about it and I want to do something more about it. Not just like a superficial thing, but really like how can we connect and how can we work together and how can we educate together, how can we help each other and how can we form a network, not only here in Ghana, but also in Europe, also in uh, South America, because there is also, I'm from actually from Suriname, the Dutch Vianas, and there is an embassy opened, I think this year, in Ghana, but also in Suriname. So when, uh, I'm really looking forward to what's going to be the next step for all of us. Um, but I felt your energy when you came in, so I wanted to talk to you anyway about your feelings of arriving in Ghana for the first time. Have you been in any other African country? Uh, in Kenya, to my cousin from my father's side. I've been to Kenya and it was so warm that when I came out the, of out the plane and the people were saying, hey, Welcome back, sister. <laughs> and I did it. I had a lot of things for the kids there to give, and so I didn't have to pay for it. I said, "Well, walk. It's okay. You're welcome back." <laughs> so it was really heartwarming, uh, war uh, war warming to meet the people. 
and now this is going to be different because this is because of Ghana is um, thinking about all the people who left uh, centuries ago and welcoming the bed and to look how we can connect with each other. I'm getting hot. <laughs> it's very hot. Yeah. Yeah. Kenya, yeah. It's more hot here. Yeah. Yes. I like it. <laughs> I already like it. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it 100. Keep it 100. So grateful for the life I live.